Hi, my name is Margaret Ayala. I'm 65 years old and I'm getting ready to retire. Um, I am currently married, um, a spouse of 42 years, and I have three children, uh, each of whom have already gotten married and have left the house and have children of their own. So now a family of five has turned into a family of 16. And um, again, I am caring for my husband who is currently disabled. And uh, because of that, it, that kind of prompted me to seek retirement. So um, I'm kind of, I was a little bit uncertain if this is a choice I wanted to do, but uh, I, did, I did pursue the retirement and I'm very happy I've done that. I started working at the age of 15. I had various um, employment opportunities that from that point on. Um, I worked throughout my high school career um, working at a photo lab. From there, I went on to working at a hospital where I did a 15-year career path and then went on to Aon Benefits Consulting, HR Benefits. And my final destination was Horwitz & Horwitz Law Firm, where I've been working five years. It's a transitional job to my retirement. Working as a woman was, I would say it is a little bit difficult because you have to um, accomplish what's expected to, from you at the work front. At the same time, you have a family that you're also e responsible for. And as a woman and as a mother, I had to prioritize on the family first um, and, and still do, uh, you know, prioritize on the job. I had to juggle both. Uh, equally, um, but I did prioritize on the family, so that was that was kind of challenging. The jobs were usually part time. I would go home um, and just hop on the bike, go to the lake until it was dinner time, come home, eat, and then go back to the lake. Um, I, I love spending my time by the by the lake, um, and I also enjoyed going clubbing on weekends with my husband. Uh, well, at that point, it wasn't my husband, but I used to go to clubs uh, every weekend, Friday and Saturday. My brother-in-law had a band, and I just followed the band wherever they went. So. A hard-working woman. You're looking at her. <laughs> um, uh, you're looking at her. I mean, you know, a hard-working working woman needs to know how to manage her life, period. You have to know how to satisfy your husband, your children, your workflow, you know, everything. And, and also take care of the house duties, you know. So if you're looking at it, it's one that maintains a family life, a work life. And at the end of the line, you know, you could look back and, and show, you know, you could look at your legacy. Because uh, a hard work, working woman like myself, first of all, I leave my hands, so I wrinkles, I do my dishes all the time. Uh, I don't have a dishwasher, I'm real old school. A lot of my, Everything that I do right now is almost like back in the day because I don't have a dishwasher. I don't have anything automated. Um, in fact, my first phone was, what, 15 years into. Um, but like I said, I'm very manual, and therefore that makes me a very hardworking woman. Um, the things that are starting to get to me, first of all, I, I, since I already know I'm retiring, um, I kind of dread waking up and, and catching the bus. I'm dreading winter. Um, because, you know, I mean, as, as I get older, um, sometimes like last year, I remember, the, you know, that first winter uh, wind takes your breath away. So as I have gotten older, the challenges of nature are definitely impacting me. Um, I'm also a little bit slow at walking. I have arthritis, so all these things are creeping up um, and slowing me down. So right now, if I were to say, those are things I look forward to, which is my retirement, not having to get up in the morning, run after a bus, uh, and with my aching bones, making it to work and making it through the day. Um, so that's what I have, you know, if, if I don't know how you're going to have this in, but if I can tell anybody and everybody, just, you know, read the Bible and, and find a relationship with God and everything will be okay. Like I said, there were challenges. Um, you know, my husband's disabled. I almost lost my daughter. I have two asthmatics in the family. We've been, we, we did have our challenges. But again, you didn't hear any of that at the beginning because my dream, my reality, my, my challenges, I've, I'm an overcomer. I'm victorious.